Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and welcome to another episode of Reddit Am I the A-Hole Crochet Edition. Now today I have Big Brews with me and it's just a basic regular cup of coffee. You know, French roast with my ever favorite Italian sweet cream creamer. So grab yourself a cup and let's dive in. Alright, so as always, the opinions I give are strictly my own. I do get information once I've read it and I may get swayed one way or the other. If there is a particular story that you find the person is the a-hole, please don't go to their page and belittle or ridicule them or whatever. Just, this is all in good fun. Um, I do post the names of the original people who posted the stories. They may not be the actual originator of the story. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Also, I keep forgetting, I do try to make them within a year of being posted, so I get, thank you phone. Anyways, I try to do it within a year. That way, I, I said, I was saying as that I get as close to you, but what I meant is that I don't have any major repeats. So I try to look for something that's very new and not been over processed. That's not the right word, but that's neither here nor there. The first one I have is literally from seven days ago. And the headline is, am I the a-hole for refusing to hand make party favors for my sister's sweet 16. Now I will say this, Reddit has already dubbed the not the a-hole. That is, I don't know that that's blue. So that's what is indicating not the a-hole. So so yeah, um, here is the quick paragraph of what gone on in this story. I'm going to keep this short. I, 14 female, have a little business selling crocheted stuffed animals. The other day, my sister, 15 female, came up to me and asked me to crochet 200 bunnies by the 25th of October for her sweet 16 to hound out to all of her guests. I flat out refused with no hesitation because no way in hell am I going to overexert myself making 259 or sorry 19 centimeter bunnies for a party she didn't even offer to pay or buy the materials or anything either she begged and begged but I ultimately said no now she's told most of our in immediate family and the ones who don't crochet slash knit and don't know how much effort it takes are calling me an a-hole am I the a-hole um I'm sorry your sister is is the a-hole for wanting 200, <clears throat> excuse me, 250 crocheted bunnies in just over a month. Just over a month. I'm not going to do the math. I don't even want to pretend to figure out how many bunnies you would have to make to get that done in time per day. I'm not going to do it. It might, no. But for someone to, I don't, I, I don't know how big 19 centimeters is. I'm going to have to figure that out. But I'm assuming it's not, I mean, they might be small. I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out. Hold on. Okay. So I should have looked that up on my tablet so you could have seen my reaction to how big 19 centimeters is. That is 7.48, so seven and a half inches tall. Seven and a half. That's almost the long, that, that's almost the width of a standard piece of paper, eight by 11. That's almost the width of a piece of paper. Oh, let's see. This, okay, that's, that's approximately three inches right there. So that's, We'll say this is six and a half. So this is one inch shorter than what she is requesting. One inch, 250 in just over a month. That would be a very big fat, absolutely not the a-hole. Absolutely not the a-hole. I don't understand. I know people don't get how much it requires time and effort and actual doing of projects that it takes to do a project. Okay, so I made this today. This little headband, little headband, little headband. And granted, I used black and black is a really hard color to crochet with because it's hard to see any of the stitches. So that's on my, that's on me. But I'm not the fastest crocheter and it probably took me an hour and a half to finish this, an hour and a half. To finish this, not a whole amigurumi bunny that would be bigger than this. Well, I don't know, 
how it's taller, taller than this, about an hour and a half. I cannot imagine how long it would take to make one bunny. Oh my God. I just, all right, let me put this back on and we'll get back to my rant is my rant. I'm going to try to refrain from any more ranting. Man, did we start with a good one? Y'all already know what I feel. Definitely not the a-hole, but let's get into this. The first comment is not the a-hole. I crochet. It's faster than knitting, but still time consuming. For me, a smallish stuffy like you're talking about is like two to four hours, depending on the complexity. Two to four hours. That's just for one. Anyone who asks or comment, uh, tell them each one takes X amount of hours to make. Uh, verge on the generous side. So say they all make, it takes four hours and don't, bleh. and you don't have time or have 200 time plus hours free in the next month. 200 times plus the hours. Okay, we'll just say four. So two times four is six. That's 600 out, 600 hours. How many? Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Hold that thought. Okay, so I don't do math very well, but if I did this correctly, 600 hours divided by 24, that's 24 hours in a day, that's 25 days. You would have to be crocheting 25 days, 24 hours a day to get 200 done. No, no, no. Okay, let's go back to that comment. And let's see, um, you could even mention that if a customer came offering to pay you for this, you would still say no to the commission. Absolutely not. Definitely. Because uh, you couldn't pay me enough to try and get that many. No. I'd go as far as pointing out that a work week is 40 hours. So she's asking you to do something like 10 plus full-time working weeks in a in about over a month, in just about, just over a month. And then they edited to add, edit to add, your sister prob probably doesn't realize the magnitude of what she asked for. Talk to her calmly to explain exactly how much work it would be. If she's reasonable, she, she'll come, come to understand. So yeah, definitely. Okay, so this person said, seriously, if, each one takes four hours. 200 would take 800 hours. I miscalculated then. That is 33 days, eight hours, nonstop, no eating, sleeping, bathroom breaks, or equally important school. Even if original poster had to put down to do a science, had, had it down to a science, and it only took one an hour each, that's 200 hours, eight days, eight hours in a row. It's approximately 51 days from now, so about four a day, four hours a day, if one takes an hour. 16 hours a day, if they take four hours each. And then someone under that said, honestly, you need to factor in the wear and tear on their hands as well. I'm a knitter, and I can tell if I've been knitting all day, especially if it's a dense fabric. Crocheting that many things would be painful. So, so, so true. Let's see. Um, someone else said 30 or three months for 30 maybe, but 200 would be way longer and compensation wouldn't be mandatory. Sister clearly doesn't grasp how hard it is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Here's another one. Not the a-hole. I would invite anyone giving you grief about it to sit with you and watch you make one start to finish. I'm guessing after a few hours of watching you work, they will probably have a better understanding of how much time and effort goes into each one and change their opinion. Absolutely. Um, someone else underneath that one said, not the a-hole. I'd offer sis to show her how to make one so she can make her own 200 hand crocheted bunnies. She'll get bored soon enough within 30 minutes. Or to anyone calling you an a-hole can be told, Thank you for volunteering. Shall I, t excuse me, shall I tell you where to buy the materials and crochet needles to do so? Crochet needles? Hooks. They're hooks. Or, oh, oh, and by the way, each bunny takes two to four hours by an experienced crocheter to make. So that's 200 times four hours for 200 bunnies. 800 hours. So you'd better get started soon and cancel all your plans to do anything else 
sleep or eat for the next 10 weeks. I can't as I have to go to school and do homework. Definitely. Oh my goodness. That just, oh, okay. I'm riled up. Can you tell? <laughs> That first one was definitely a doozy. All right, let's go and find another one. All right, so this one is also seven days ago. It is quite long, so this will probably be our final story. But, yeah. And no, Reddit has not dubbed the, there's no indication here on whether or not they were dubbed the a-hole or not the a-hole. So we will figure that out in just a moment. Our heading is, am I the a-hole for ending an almost 20 year friendship over a joke and a crochet hook? Now, I don't know. <laughs> that seems a bit intense, but let's see. I, 24 female, what were you guys, four? Have a friend, 24 male. We've known each other since we were very young. I would assume four, considering it says 20, almost 20, so roughly four years old. We knew each other uh, tangen tangentially in school. Pause. Okay, so tangently, not tangently. I, my brain. And that is slightly. So they weren't, like, good friends in school at the beginning, I'm assuming. They were just probably more acquaintances. And I was one of the few people who made an effort to be his friend. I do my best to su suspend judgment and give people a chance regardless of their idiosyncrasies. We reconnected a couple years after high school and he seemed to have come out of his shell a bit. We got rather close but we struggled but he struggled to respect my boundaries when I didn't want to be intimate with him. We then spent some time apart about a year. Okay so it sounds like this relationship hasn't been like solid 20 years. But anyways, I digress. Uh, we reconnected again and things seemed better this time until he confessed his feelings for me again. I kindly let him down and said all and said all the right things about being content to be my friend. I took him at his word. Oh, sorry. I kindly let him down and he said all the right things about being content to be my friend. I took him at his word. We continued being friends and he began telling me about asking out other girls. I assumed everything was fine and that he had moved on. Then he began going to massage school and needed someone to practice on. My first instinct was to haul, haul ass in the opposite direction, but again, he said all the right things. I have a chronic illness and and benefit from regular massages. massages. So I accepted as long as we kept it strictly professional and full fully clothed. It started off well. He got practice and I got free health care in America. That's a big deal. But not long after we started the arrangement, things started to go south. I was talking out I was talking and out of nowhere he looked me dead in the eye and covered my mouth with his hand. I just stared at him in horror. He then removed his hand and explained that I needed to be quiet for what he was doing. I just started giggling hysterically at out of nerves and he mentioned he probably shouldn't have done that. I agreed and tried to move on. Not long after, while adjusting this sheet covering my fully clothed body, he commented that I had very large breasts. I sat in stunned silence. He apologized and moved on quickly, but it wasn't the last time. In fact, he said that on at least three separate occasions, Dude, that's a little... I don't know why I didn't end it there. Yeah, you should have, because that's... Sorry, that's... We're, we're, we're touching on sexual harassment here. Uh, I should mention that this man doesn't leave... Oh, I should mention that this man does not leave of his own accord. He has to be kicked out. Interesting. On our last session, it was midnight, and I was exhausted, so I kicked him out. I walked him to his car and went back inside. The whole session made me very uncomfortable. As he had dropped almost all of the professionalism we once had. I waited several minutes to make sure he was gone before I took out the trash. As I was opening the lid of the trash can and dumping stuff in, I was suddenly blinded by headlights. Oh dear. Then I saw him peel out rather quickly. He must have been sitting in the car just up the street with the car off. No phone screen light, just invisible in the darkness. Okay, that's creepy. Needless to say, I was creeped out. Exactly. And I noped back inside real quick. I would do the same. I thought about asking him about it, but decided it would be rather better to just have some space. 
Not long after, he asked to stop by to pick up to pick something up from my house. No mention of staying. When he arrived, he asked to stay for a couple of hours. Uh, no. I asked him to leave not long after he arrived and and laid down in my back porch hammock to relax for the evening. I stopped watching him when he was roughly four or five meters from the hammock and closed my eyes to rest. Then I heard him clumsily attempt to sneak back, and when I opened my eyes, I saw his crap-eating grin looking down at me. Then he said this, Wouldn't it be funny if I snuck back and you didn't notice? Pulls out a crochet hook and brandish brandish brandishes okay brandishes it at me good night i hate that i can't speak sometimes and i stuck this and i stuck this crochet hook up your nose and pulled out your brain um that's okay is this real is this because this sounds like a, wow so he's saying wouldn't i wouldn't it be funny if i took this crochet hook shoved it up your nose and pulled out your your brains you need a freaking restraining order woman at this point i don't even remember my reaction what i do remember is the fact that i could no longer rest in my hammock after he left without the fear that i was going to have a crochet hook jammed up my nose non-consensually and that was the last straw. Almost 20 years of friendship down the drain. I no longer want to be around this person, and that's deeply sad. He wasn't always like this, but it's escalating. The unfortunate part for me is that I feel incredibly guilty about ending our friendship. I know I'm going to hurt him deeply, and I feel like an asshole, an a-hole, for hurting him over this Im immaturity over his immaturity. Okay. Can't I be the bigger person? So what's the verdict, Reddit? Am I the a-hole? If I end an almost 20 year friendship over the effing crochet hook and a stupid joke? Edit. I should clarify that according to him, I am not the only person he's been practicing on. After the comments, I'm officially scared and that's probably a good thing. Thank you. i really value the words of warning given that I'm trying to convince myself to go through with cutting him off. Ugh. Okay. Wow. I did not. This is. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Sorry. I don't know why I'm so triggered. <laughs> That's really scary. If that is true, that is really, really scary. And for your safety, you need to sever all ties, all contact, everything. Because that, just the idea of what he proposed with that crochet hook is premeditated murder. Wow, I don't know why I'm so emotional. Okay, that one, that one really got to me. Okay, so first, first comment. No, not the a-hole. This dude sounds Jeffrey Dahmer level crazy. Exactly. Girl, change your number, change your locks. Hell, if you rent, leave, then... Sorry, I'm... <laughs> Give me a moment. Okay, sorry. Okay. Hell, if you rent, leave when the lease is up. These are blaring warning signs of obsession to me. Yeah, totally. It starts with harmless adoration and ends with kidnapping and murder. Don't be an episode of true crime. Avoid this man at all costs. I wish you peace and safety. I couldn't agree more. Oh my goodness, that is so... The second person, not the a-hole, run, don't walk. You are not safe. Do not be nice. Do not worry about his feelings. Do not be sad. Be alive. Exactly. Maybe report him to his school for massage about the breast comments. They need to know to teach him not to say that or he'll lose his license. Consider moving if you can. Change your locks and lose the hammock. He is fixated. He is stalking and he is describing violent tendencies and you have to let him be and you have to let him be in your life with unrequited, unrequited, whatever, requited, requited feelings and plenty of time to fantasize. Uh, you're not safe. The end that the end of, that ended long ago. This is now a predator and prey relationship. Exactly. <laughs> and the final uh, comment you would be the a-hole if you considered to considered to a crochet hook to a, to the brain. Sorry, you would be the a-hole if you consented to a crochet hook to the brain. Honestly, you would you should have out you should have out and 
end to this long ago. Dad, you should... All right. Honestly, you should have ended it long ago. Honey, or homie, sounds like he's developmentally delayed. You didn't smack him upside his full head after he pondered your breasts post-groping. He probably thinks that you belong to him or some such stupid nonsense. That's some creepy crap. Consider how you can put an end to this in a way that ensures your safety. Pepper spray is your friend. To be clear, you didn't do anything wrong or unt uh, untoward or whatever. You only Your only sin is that you have been naive and you took a weirdo at his word. Friends come and go, such as life. A platonic straight make friend, male friend will not want to give you massages. The guys who want to massage you want to be more than platonic. Men think with the wrong head far too much. <laughs> Going forward, don't let someone massage you unless you are uh, definitely, unless you are a DTF. Hold on a second. Oh, the realization. Oh my goodness. <laughs> DTF, look it up yourself. I'm not going to explain it. Or you're paying a, them a tidy sum. Yeah, no. Definitely. Granted, this n has nothing to do with crochet other than the fact that there's a crochet hook. But that is some really scary stuff. I could not imagine being in that kind of a position. I... Probably would have instantly, I, I would have been one of those reels of someone spinning in the hammock trying to get out. That's scary. I definitely, I would put a restraining order. I would go to the police. I would go to the school. I would do whatever it takes to get him away. Definitely change your locks. Change everything that you can do. And if you are living alone, I would strongly suggest getting a roommate. Strongly su get, suggest getting a roommate. Or at least until you can move away. Um, have someone that's always there so that you're never alone. Yeah, that, that's really scary. Wow. Man, okay. I'm sorry, I actually had to take a minute. Um, that last one was really scary. And if, if you are ever in a position where you have to deal with something like that, get the help that you can, that you need to get. Call the police. I would have, I say I would have, um, I would call the police, call the police first and foremost and file a report against him because that is some really scary scary stuff. I did not expect today's video to be quite so serious. This this is supposed to be funny, fun and funny and hilarious. This what was just described is so beyond not funny and hilarious. This is so scary. So I truly hope that you get the help that you need to get out of that, to get away from him. I wouldn't even, I would just disconnect. Don't even talk, don't even give him the time of day. Immediately go to the police, file a report, get a restraining order. That is some really scary, scary stuff. I truly hope that you got the help or get the help that you desperately do need because that was scary. I hope that there is an update and if there is I will uh, I will post a quick short about it because that's scary. This was posted seven days ago. Seven days ago. That's just a week ago. So hopefully I'll look for an update and if there is one I will definitely definitely post it. But anyways Oh my goodness. <sighs> Take a breath. Take a breath. And let's move on.
because that was some really scary stuff. All right, so here we are. <laughs> it seems after that last one, this seems pretty weird to even be discussing or something cute. Yeah, it seems so weird. But anyways, um, and going along with that first story, I found some really cute crochet bunnies. Or I found a really cute crochet bunny, which could be similar to what the uh, girl was talking about. Um, it is adorable. It's a cute, it's very, I'm, I can tell it's made with um, velvet yarn. And it is absolutely, absolutely adorable. I would suggest, I love the little bunny butt. Do you love that bunny butt? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. So anyways, there it is. I would suggest following this person and um, seeing if they have any more stuff because that is just adorable. And with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was, it took a very dark and crazy turn. Um, I was not, as, as, as I've said in other videos, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of today's video. I do these blind. I just see a story, a headline, and I think it might be interesting and just go from there. And I don't read it until I read it to you. And so, yeah, that took a really dark and scary turn. Um, that is crazy. That makes me want to have mace or something of that nature um, with me at all times because <laughs> that is crazy scary. Crazy scary. Um, both stories, not the a-hole. Um, the first one was much, much more lighthearted than the second one. We like bunnies. We don't like crazy people. Crazy murderous type people. <laughs> if you liked today's video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. What are your thoughts on the two stories? They're both nuts. They were both kind of nuts, but man, that second one. Oh my goodness. All right. If you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. And um, yeah, with that, <laughs> gravity works, guys.